couple of times I wanted to just give up um, and sort of just call it quits and this, like, you know, not knowing my future, so I was going to give up, sell my property and move to Bali, which was my plan, and move back home. I say, you don't want to walk a mile in my jeans. Oh, no, no. Mm. I get that green asparagus, but sit down with the team and we go shopping all day. What else? Won't you cop it all day? Need like 40 more credentials for the ladies. Now I'm back. What are you, man? <laughs> wow. What are you in months? Since the 80s, make sure you hear that flossy. What a 12 months. This time last year, I was in, I was in England, Leeds, north of England. Yeah, uh, living Penrith was probably one of the hardest things I had to do, personally, because I've, I felt that I've uh, given a lot to the club. You know, just uh, built good relationships there with. With not only um, the, the boys, but um, the people, the fans, and just the uh, people around the club, and sort of thought I would finish my career there, but it wasn't meant to be. Um, yeah, it was. It was just sort of a little bit of a tough sort of period because, you know, I, I felt that um, I still, you know, had a lot to give to the club, but you know, stuff happened and things happened like that in life, and you know, I was. I was uh, starting a new chapter in my life over the Leeds. And here at the club, Leeds, it was awesome. Like, you know, they they done everything in their power to make me feel comfortable. And, you know, at the end at the end of the day, it was a personal choice. Um, didn't really, um, I was, yeah, just didn't really fit in. Um, moving on from that. Um, not knowing your future. You know, with us rugby league players, um, we come straight from school and you always got a schedule and with, um, with, with, with rugby league, you're told you know, when to eat, how to eat, and stuff like that. So you've always got something to look forward to, and always got something um, like a scheduling. Like, okay, I'm training at this time. Okay, I've got to be here. Okay, I'm gonna train for five days straight, or whatever it is. And from not knowing, from not from knowing all the time to not knowing was, I, I found that hard, and I, I, I could see why a lot of players do go depression, do go through depression. I think in this this stage of my life. I'm, I, got, I can feel I'm a lot more mature, like, I'm excited, but, you know, I'm just I'm more focused, if, if that makes sense, you know, I come to maturity, you know, I know what my job is out there, and, um, yeah, it's, it's a weird feeling, like, I can't really explain it, um. Pussy never not wet, never got you upset, patty cake when that check hit, but the family's rush when we lit. Luckily enough, you know, um, Cronulla was, you know, they've been sort of the best, Best sort of thing for me, uh, being in the type of environment because you know they come from a winning culture already and um, made them more hungry and you know seeing blokes that are you know um, that I'm really close mates with achieve the ultimate goal, which is winning premiership. Which that's that's the that's the ultimate goal I believe in in your career within a rugby league player. You know it's something that I really wanted to achieve and you know seeing someone achieve it, which is close to me. So close to like you know, way way home. One of my good mates, Wade Graham. I uh, really want to feel what he was feeling, so uh, maybe more hungry to you know stick in there. Because a couple of times I wanted to just give up um, and sort of just call it quits and this, like you know not knowing my future, so I was going to give up, sell my property, and move to Bali, which was my plan, and move back home and you know be <laughs> be, be sort of you know um, sort of someone just the normal Joe Blow, but I know. You know, come two weeks time when if I don't know that I'll be regretting it so um, I'm happy I stuck in there and I'm happy that the club backed me and um, stuck there with me and especially you know the coach and um, the coaching staff fast forward never not wet, never got you upset. Cake when that check hit. Yeah. 